Do you want to have a look at the features of Dirty Unicorns ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Munchie here, back with another video and in this video, we're going to have a look at the features of Dirty Unicorns ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi. Do note the build used in this video is an unofficial build for the Google Pixel 2 because the Google Pixel 2 is not an officially supported device by Dirty Unicorns. However, the Google Pixel 2 XL is officially supported, so the features will be almost the same. This is how Dirty Unicorns come out of the box. You have your quick step launcher in the building along with Android 9.0 Pi recents working like a boss. Let us go into settings. Nothing much to talk about in network and internet and connected devices. Dirty tweaks is where you have all the customizations by Dirty Unicorns. We'll talk about that later. Let us first go into apps and notifications. You have your app info which will show you all the installed applications. Now this will differ based on your device and what Google Apps package you are using. Then we have time spent in apps. This is where you will know how much time you've spent in all the applications installed on your phone and if you want to set a timer you can do that over here then we have notifications you can control what content you want to see on the lock screen show all notification content or do not show the notifications at all whether you want the notification dots when you have a new notification in your launcher whether you want the led light to blink or not what is the default notification sound you want and you can also set up your do not disturb next if you want to see the notifications from the last seven days this is the option which you need to use next option in apps and notification is default apps from here you can decide what application you want to be your default in case you have multiple messaging apps launcher or multiple phone apps you also have opening links from here you can enable or disable instant apps which will open links in the applications even if they are not installed and you can also go ahead and customize your instant app preferences next in apps and notifications you have app permissions you can decide what all applications have access to your camera right now it is the camera app the messaging app and the phone app i can go ahead and disable whichever one i want to and you can do so for all the other options over here next option we have is chooser activity blacklist so any apps which you add over here will not show up in the share menu next in settings we have battery you have your battery saver so if you are low on battery not near a charging point enable the battery saver you can turn it on anytime or you can turn it on automatically decide the battery percentage using this slider next we have battery manager something which google added with android 9.0 pi this guy will run in the background detect any application which is draining excessive battery and report that application to you so that you can take appropriate action with that application then you also have battery charge warning if you enable this guy it will play a sound when your battery is charged to a specific percentage you can set it using this slider and you also have your last full charge and the screen on time since the last full charge next option in settings is display you have your brightness level you can customize your brightness level you have night light whether you want it on or you want to schedule it at a specific time or from sunset to sunrise next up in display is adaptive brightness again something which google added with android 9.0 pi this guy will learn your brightness preferences in different environments and once you're back in that specific environment your brightness will automatically adjust to that level next option is wallpaper from here you can customize your wallpaper and choose any wallpaper which you want you can also use this sleep option to determine after how much time your phone goes to sleep whether you want auto rotate or not what is the color profile you want natural boosted or saturated next we have the option to choose the screensaver and when to start it you can click on start now and bam there it is screensaver in the building next option is to turn the screen on when you plug in your charger or disconnect your charger next option is ambient display you can enable it all the time which will result in increased battery usage or you can enable it for double tap to wake up your screen or lift to wake up your screen or wake your phone up when you have a new notification then you have ambient music ticker you can enable or disable this guy pause the video over here if you want to read more about ambient music ticker 
but it is a pretty nifty feature if you want to recognize or know what song is playing around you. Next up in display, we have device theme, three options, automatic based on the time of the day, dark or light, let's choose dark and bam, there it is, dark theme in the building. And you can also change your accent color. Let's go ahead and select this guy, wait for the UI to restart and bam, there it is, new accent color in the building. Next option we have is quick style tile style. You can choose what kind of style you want for your quick settings icons. Let's go ahead and change it to say this guy. Wait for the UI to restart and bam, the quick settings icon just changed. You can also customize the font size, display size and the DPI which you want. Next up in settings is sound. Not much customizations over here. However, you do have your Android 9.0 Pi style sound panel, the one on the side. Use this guy to change the media volume and this guy to change your ringer preferences. Nothing much to talk about in storage and security and location. You have your fingerprint, your pin, your passcode and all those other options. Similarly, we'll go ahead and skip accounts and accessibility. Next option we have is digital well-being, something which Google added with Android 9.0 Pi. You can use the dashboard to see how much time you've spent in certain applications. And if you want to limit your time in a specific application, this is the place to be. Also, you can use wind down to remind you that you need to get off your phone. So a pretty nifty feature from Google. Next up, we have system. If you go into gestures, go into swipe fingerprint for notifications enable this guy and now you can use the fingerprint scanner on your phone and if you swipe down it will expand the notification panels like this bam like a boss and you can also use this option to swipe left or right to dismiss the notifications next in gestures we have jump to camera press the power button twice quickly to open the camera from any screen next up we have activate the torch enable this guy and you can long press the power button to open the torch then you have swipe up on home button enable this guy and you will have android 9.05 gestures in the building and if you enable full gesture mode the back button will disappear and if you swipe left on this pill it will be the back action something which google should have done by default and you also have double tap to sleep so you double tap on either side of the pill and the display will go to sleep we also have double tap to check the phone if this guy is enabled double tap on your lock screen and you will see all your notifications and the screen will wake up you also have lift to check phone in the building as soon as you lift up your phone from the table the display will wake up and you also have prevent ringing so if you press the power and volume up button at the same time the phone will go into vibration mode. Alright peeps, let's now go into Dirty Tweaks. This is where you have the customizations from Dirty Unicorns. First up is Power Menu. Whether you want the restart option in the Power Menu or not, this guy. Whether you want the advanced restart option or not, this guy over here. And whether you want the screenshot option or not, it just disappeared. Enable it and bam, screenshot is back. Next we have lock screen, you have lock screen items, whether you want the clock widget on the lock screen or not, what is the type of the clock style you want on your lock screen, these are your multiple options. And whether you want to see items underneath the clock or not, like the date, the weather, alarms. Next up, whether you want the full screen media cover art, so whatever music is playing on your phone, the media cover art will be displayed in full screen or not. Double tap to sleep on the lock screen. And what is the temperature unit you want on your lock screen, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Next up in Dirty Tweaks is status bar. Click on battery options. You can choose your battery icon style from amongst all these options and where you want the percentage, whether you want it hidden outside the icon or inside the icon. Then you have clock options, whether you want to see the clock and date or not, whether you want to see AM, PM or not, whether you want to specifically see the date. And once you enable this guy, normal font size, all these options will also be enabled so you can customize your date. Next in status bar we have icon manager whether you want to see the dirty unicorns icon on the top left of your status bar or not and whether you want to see the 4G LTE icon or not. Then we have quick settings you can customize your quick settings pull down right now it is set to right pull from the right hand side the quick settings panel is expanded pull from the left hand side it is not expanded whether you want to see the brightness slider this guy in your quick settings panel or not it just went away and how many rows and columns you want in your quick settings panel for both the portrait and landscape mode whether you want to see the title below the quick settings icon or not right now it says wi-fi disable this guy and bam wi-fi and the titles are gone what is the kind of animation you're looking for when you click on that guy 
So let's set it to rotate. Click on Bluetooth and bam, rotating like a boss. What is the duration you want for this animation? And you can also choose your animation interpolator using these options. Next option in status bar is traffic indicators, whether you want to see the internet activity indicators in the expanded status bar or not. And you can also set the speed threshold using this slider. Next up in dirty tweaks, we have navigation. First up is buttons, whether you want to use the volume rockers to control the playback of music when your screen is turned off. Then we have navigation itself whether you want to see the on-screen navigation bar or not, just in case you're using a third-party full-screen gesture application. Swipe up on home button is the Android 9.0 Pi gestures, which we already discussed in system and gestures. Then if you enable the on-screen navigation bar, you can customize the long press action for the home button, the recents button, and the back button. What is the kind of layout you're looking for this navigation bar? You have multiple options, normal, compact, left-leaning, right-leaning. These are the various options you have, whether you want to swap the recents and back button or not, whether you want to see the arrow key while typing or not. And you also have pulse navigation bar, which will display a graphic equalizer right below the navigation bar when you have music playing. Next option in Dirty Tweaks is multitasking. In that, we have recents, so you can apply an icon pack to your recents if you have one installed. And that's about it for all the options we have in Dirty Tweaks. That's it for this video, peeps. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares, and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.